how do we know? It hurts. <laughs> if something hurts, it means you're not doing it right. Something hurts, you have to figure out what it is. Is it your leg? Are you not moving ahead where you're supposed to be going? What is what is not? Is it your knee? Are you not being humble enough? Are you refusing to bend to someone else's wishes or whatever? You have to figure out what it is and you have to address it and, and work to relieve it by change your mind and you change your life. If you can change your mind, you can change your life. There's a, another one of the gurus of my life is, uh, oh my God, NLP, Bandler, Richard Bandler. And he, he was a maniac. It's the only way. You have to be to, to develop this whole this whole thing, you know, with the NLP. But he was the one who said, you, you can tell yourself anything and believe it, so you need to be very kind and very wise and tell yourself good stuff so that you'll grow and higher, not lower. So, okay, and also, um, in terms of your emotional, that's a very interesting thing. And one of the uh, cosmic laws like love and hate or love and indifference. It's, it's, you know what it is? It's one line. It's, it's okay and not okay. Where does okay end and not okay begin? Where does not okay end and okay begin? It's one line. So you can change it. You can walk that line. If you walk that line, you can change the emotion that's prevalent in your life now, and you can do something else. You can have a different emotion. You can choose a different emotion. And then you have to pretend as if it's really your emotion and you really want to do this. And then after a while, guess what? You'll begin to believe it and you'll do it, you know? So that's how you change your emotions. And again, you, you, because emotions are not rational. They're not rational, always. And so they're kind of hard to fix unless you figure out how to lessen the negative and, and strengthen the positive. That's the emotions. So it's the pain and the physical and, the, and the, uh, that one line that you can traverse on the emotional level and the computer, the computer, it's the, the affirmations. Affirmations, we say them all the time, but you know, like if you say it'll never happen, that's an affirmation. Guess what? You believe that, it'll never happen, cancel, cancel. So you need, you need to begin to be very thoughtful and erudite about what you tell yourself. Because you have to be your own best champion. You have to tell yourself good stuff. So, the, so that's, the, that's the mental. And the spiritual, the, there's, a, there's just one terrible thing. It's like when you feel totally alone in the world, not connected, disconnected from everybody, that's the worst feeling in the world, to feel nobody cares, I'm all alone, what's the use? That's the spiritual, it's that connection to a higher energy, whatever you want to call it, it's, you need that connection. And the way to do it is also through the chakras. All these four things you can do through the chakras, and you can do them one at a time, you can do them simultaneously, and how are you going to do this? You're going to do it by lighting out good affirmations to tell yourself. Uh, how many people have ever read Louise Hay's books? She, she's wonderful. She has mm. books. I think it's. I know. I know it has a big rainbow on the cover. Heal your body. I mean, it's cool. Heal your body, or you can heal your body. And she has what she calls. Physical causations, 
No. Um, what's it? How is it though? Spiritual causation. Spiritual, spiritual causation for physical ailments. So again, as I said before, if your legs are hurting or not moving, where are you not moving toward that you need to be? Or if your back is hurting, where do you feel not supported? Uh, yes. What if it's a shoulder hurting you? What would that mean? What can you not shoulder at this time? Mm -hmm. What is what you say? That's what she says, and 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 she, the antidote to that would be, I can shoulder whatever I need to at this time because I am stronger than I think. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So, at first when you say that, you say, Yep, yeah, I couldn't do that. But then after a while, it will become second nature to you, and it will feel right, and it will program the computer in the right way. So really, that's the bottom line. The bottom line is, if you want to put teeth into the chakra balancing and the whole chakra schematic, it's not the... Although, if, if the charger wants to say the sounds or the other things, that's it. On. Whatever you want to do is the right thing for you to do. But if you want to strengthen your chakras and you want to balance your life in the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, this is what you need to do. And so at this moment, at this point, I have a wonderful original meditation for you. But before I do, I would like you to, uh, you don't have pencil. Does anybody need any pencil or anything? You can write on the back of this paper. I want you, and this is, this is the other thing. Whatever pops into your mind, is, the, is there anybody who needs a pencil? Or Raise your hand if you can. Well, maybe I have some. So I what I'm and and I want to stress that one I have two. But I want the back because no, I'll be oh, sure. Okay. Do you need one? Okay. And of course you don't visit. Oh, thank you. Okay. And I think that it's going to get some more. But the key thing, the key thing is you have to uh, see what the key thing you have to allow is if it pops into your head, don't say, nah. If it pops into your head, honor it. And write it down. Here's what you're writing. First of all, you're uh, thinking. These are really important for you because you're going to begin to formulate what you can do and what you will do in the future. Um, you're saying to yourself, okay, body, what do you need now? Or what does my body need now? And just, if you want to close your eyes, if you don't, just think, what does my body need now? Like my legs, um, I don't exercise enough, so my legs talk to me sometimes. So I do a meditation that puts oxygen into my legs. I use laser beams. I, you know, I mean, and you know what? They feel invigorated. <laughs> so, okay. So think of something that your body needs right now. <laughs> And make an affirmation about it. Let it or if you can't make the affirmation, just write down what your body needs. My body needs whatever it is. What part of your body? Just write down something. Don't tell me. What's his name? I stopped with Robert Taylor and the uh, <laughs> I don't know the new one. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, if you have more than one, write more than one. Um, you just kind of write, uh, you know, your shoulder. Wow. <laughs> you can even write that. My shoulder hurts or whatever. So, and if you can think of more than one, write them because you're going to, that's your bank. You're, you're making it. And, and don't look at the other person because. He's cheating. He's, he's cheating. looking at you. Right. You uh, need to do your body, not hers. He's cheating. Why do your soul? Right. She's telling me what to write. This one's cheating, and this one's telling me. Then he went to write. You have a lot of overcoming to do here. <laughs> okay, so does everybody have an idea of something physical that they would like to attend to? And if it's your back, it would be good to say the lower, middle, or upper back, because there's three different areas. The lower is the uh, financial support, the upper is the emotional support. You know, so you, you need to uh, say where it is that, you, that your body is asking for help. And you know, there is the mere paying attention to it and loving it, and is is a is a first step. The body likes that. Yes. What does the middle back signify? I can't remember. You help me. What in other words the financial, financial the emotional. Support. What other support do we have in life? The relationship? I don't know. I don't remember. It's gone. <laughs> It'll come back, but not now. About <laughs> two in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. So what am I going to tell you? We'll give you our phone numbers. You can if I forget someone. why I came into the kitchen, I have to go back in the other room, and then I know why I'm coming into the kitchen. <laughs> so this is my challenge these days. I have to love it because that's me, and that's the only me I'm going to have right now. Next time, I'm coming back as a six-foot-tall, strong, athletic man. <laughs> so, because, you know, they can bend down, they can run, they can jump, they can fall easily, everything. You know, it's like, those, are, those are the challenges for me. And now I want you to write something about your emotions. Where are you too much, do you have too much emotion in, or what kind of emotion in one area, or too little? You know, so just write down what you want to lessen and what you want to strengthen. I want to lessen this, I want to strengthen that. And this is this is your really important information for you, no one else. write an affirmation. And the affirmation is a positive, specific statement. So I once had a mother who said, I want to change my teenager. Number one, that's not specific. Change them now. Number two, you can only change the one you see when you brush your teeth in the morning. You cannot change anyone else. You can change you. And you need to be very specific about what change you want. Not just change. Change is, is, a, is, not, is a general word. Be very specific about how you want to change or what you want to change. And be realistic. Like, I can't say I want to become a size 2. <laughs> because if it, if it is, I'd probably be very sick, so I don't want to become a size 2. You know? So it's got to be realistic, too. And the third area is your, um, your mental. So what thoughts are looping around in your head? Do you have one thought that keeps coming back and attacking you all the time? Yeah. What is it? What do you want? How do you 
what do you want to get rid of? What thought do you want to get rid of? I would like to change this thought. I would like to let go of this thought. And what thought do you want to increase in your life? Magnify, sanctify, you know? So, so think of both areas there. And tell yourself that you can do this on your own, too, at home, or any time it pops up. Keep a little log here, a little journal, and this will be a, a really wonderful tool for you. Because you're, you're the CEO of this. Yeah. Okay, and, and the last area is, where do I feel disconnected? How do I feel disconnected? Maybe not at all, which would be wonderful. <clears throat> How can I feel more connected? Or, and write down a statement about, I would like to feel more connected in this area, or with so-and-so, or something like that. I think this was just peripheral. I have uh, taken out from Louise Hay's book uh, about, you know, a, a quite a, a page full. I, I didn't get a chance to print it up, but I'm going to just read them to you. As I read them, this is going to give you ideas of what affirmations are like, and it's also going to help you. If you'd like one, write it down. Steal it. Steal the strategy if you like it. Okay? It'll be yours, too. So here, here are some of the ones. I, I, she also, as I say, has the metaphysical causations for the physical ailments, <coughs> but this is more general because it, many of them repeat. So, like, you know, this is, these are good. These are really to the point for, for, for everyone. Uh, I love and approve of myself. When have I said that last? I am safe. If you like any of that, write it down. I am loving and lovable. I am worth living. I choose to fill my world with joy. And you know what? If you're looking for joy, you'll find it. I am open and receptive to good. I allow my mind to be peaceful. I now choose thoughts that make me feel proud. Good. I hear with love. I hear with love. Some people see, some people, some people even see music. Some people hear it. So whatever you do, you can write it. My understanding is clear, and I'm willing to change with the times. Life is for me. Life supports me. Life is good. Here's a simple statement. Life is good. When things are not doing so well, if you can say that to yourself, life is good. It's wonderful. It's a really big deal, you know? Um, I, I move forward in life with joy and ease. It is safe for me to be who I am. They knew what I really am like. They would, would they hate me? Would they love me? I easily forgive. I easily forgive. I forgive myself. You know what they say about forgiveness. When you resent someone, it's like letting them live rent-free in your head. They don't care. Yeah. It's hurting you a lot. So, saying I forgive easily, even though you may not mean it, or there's always one, I mean, I remember when I was teaching up north, I, this little woman, I said, is there anybody you can't forgive? And she says, I cannot forgive him. He left me and I have to live in the attic now. 
<laughs> so I didn't have a good answer for her, but she had to work on that, you know? So, but you need to forgive everybody. It's, it's, what else can you do? Hate them? Resent them? What? You know? It's, there, there's a K word. What's the K word? Karma, okay? Karma is an educational process. Some people say karma is there, and they use the B word. <laughs> but karma is there, ever present. And whatever you do, you accrue it, and you have to pay the piper. So karma is always there, and remember that. I bring joy back to the center of my heart. Joyful heart. I am good enough just as I am. I am good enough just as I am. I am gentle and caring with myself and others. All is well. <coughs> I choose to be peaceful and harmonious. I am forgiving, understanding, and compassionate. I look for love and find it everywhere. You find love everywhere. That's a lovely thing. You will find it. I have the capacity to take in the fullness of life. I bless my body with love. By choosing loving, joyous thoughts, I create a world, I create my world. <coughs> I am safe and free. I am at peace with my own feelings. I create my own security. I am wonderful. I bet your parents mm -hmm. might have taught you self-praise, not quite right. Mm -hmm. Why not? I am wonderful. I, I release the need. <coughs> oh, this is a biggie. It was, for me, it was a biggie. If you didn't agree with me politically, I couldn't even talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I release the need to be right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this is a new moment. You can start anything from this moment on. My life gets better every day. Isn't that a nice thing to say? My life gets better every day. And every day you're going to be looking for better things in your life. And you're going to find them. Okay. It will be... Okay. This, this was... Uh, it really hit me in the heart. Uh, when Israel was going through all the shelling, they were shelling, you know, from the Arab countries, they had a saying, Yehi had told, it will be good. I mean, it wasn't very good, they were being shelled every day. But they kept saying it, it will be good. And eventually, you know, it stopped. So, you, you need, even in the face of, it, it, you know, anything. You need to have something to, to hold on to. Um, right action, this is the last one, right action is taking place in my life. So even if things are not going the way you thought they would be going, maybe that's what you need right now for that moment. You know. So these are just ideas of affirmations that it, it, it went in there. <laughs> it's in there. And you have others. And you have original ones. Because the ones that you create for yourself, you know, it's like money in the bank. It's yours. And, it, and it's an expression of you. And it's a true belief that you have that will work for you. So now I'm going to do the meditation. Uh, before I do, does anyone have any questions or any comments? Yes, please turn your cell phones off. Oh, thank you. Thank 
Now, it's not uh, very short. It's not very long, but it's not very short. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm going to, I, you don't usually read it, but I, I, I just so wanted to put everything in in just the right way that I, that I just wrote it this way, because this is different than the one that, we, that I did originally. It's a little more to uh, get. So, um, when we meditate, we meditate in a pharaoh position. We also meditate in a lotus position, if, if, if that's the Eastern way, if, if that's how we do it, if that's how you do it. And the pharaoh position is with your spine erect and your feet flat on the ground, uncrossed, and your palms <laughs> either down on your lap or up, whatever feels comfortable to you. And you're just relaxed and you're in a good, you know, a, in a good place. Okay? And it's good to close your eyes so you close out of all the distractions in the room. So just take a couple of deep breaths. <laughs> Breathing in through the nostrils and blowing the breath out through the mouth. And it feels so good just to breathe. And now, let us ask our body to relax. Eyes, relax. Teeth and jaw, relax. Throat, neck, and shoulders. Relax. Trunk of the body. Relax. Liver, kidneys, muscles, nerves. Relax. Spine. Relax. Heart. Relax and heal. Upper arm. Lower arms and fingers relax. Allow any extra tension in your upper body to leave through the fingertips. Just let it go. Pelvis relax. Thighs, knees, calves relax. Ankles, feet and toes relax. And allow any extra tension to flow out through the toes. Just let go. And it feels so good. And now, if there was any part of your body, emotions, mind or spirit, that needs special attention, send it love and healing to revitalize that part. And take a few moments in silence to do this now. And now, imagine you are walking down a peaceful path and straight ahead you see a beautiful rainbow-colored staircase. And at the very top of the staircase is a golden door that leads to a glowing room beyond. Behold, you have arrived at the rainbow staircase. And it looks so inviting that you know you want to climb it. You climb up to the first stair, and it is a warm red color. And the color red seems to jump up to the base of your spine, balancing and energizing the root chakra. And you feel a sense of trust that the universe wants to help you always. And it is so. And now, climb to the next step. 
and it is a shimmering orange. And the orange color seems to settle in an area below the navel and to feel so much a part of the bundle of life and to feel at one minute with all the relationships in your life. It feels so good. And the sacral chakra is balanced and energized. And now, you climb up to the next step, and it is a glowing yellow, and the color seems to surround the area of the navel, allowing a sense of safety and even power to enter your being. And the solar plexus chakra is balanced and energized. Then you climb to the next step, and it is the color green, a clear liquid emerald green that seems to center around the area of the heart, bathing the chambers of the heart with healing, and you become so happy. And the heart chakra is balanced and rejuvenated. And now, climb up to the next step, and it is a sky blue. As it gently circles itself around the throat, like an etheric blue green. And you declare to yourself, may the words of my mouth always be a blessing to all who hear it. <coughs> For you know that once a word is spoken, it cannot be taken back. And the throat chakra is balanced and energized, and so be it. And as you climb up to the next step, a brilliant indigo color jumps up to the area between the brows, and you realize that this is an area you don't visit often enough. It is an area of your rising higher, understanding deeper, and that certain knowing of what is the right thing to do. You can actually see more clearly what your next step is going to be. And the third eye chakra is balanced and energized. And now, take a few moments in silence to allow any images or words to pop up and to inspire you and tell yourself that you will remember them after this meditation. And now, you climb up to the last step. It is a deep amethyst color and jumps to the top of your head and you feel that you are in the presence of a guiding light that will light your way forevermore so that you will never have to walk alone again. And the crown chakra is balanced and energized. And now, you move forward and open the golden door and step inside. Oh, what a sight. What a feeling. What an awesome place this place is. You see wise beings all around you. Loved ones who have passed. People in your life today who are in need of healing at this time. And you are moved to declare, may I be a channel of love and light wherever I go. May I be a channel of love and light wherever I go. And in this sacred space, with this indescribable white light, you allow yourself the blessing of being part of the healing that is abundantly taking place to you and through you. And now, take a few moments in silence to do your good works and bond with your loved ones and your guides. And a 
allow the healing to continue in silence for a few moments. yourself that in the near future, whenever you wish, you can easily come back to the rainbow staircase and the healing room to heal yourself and others. And when you are ready, slowly bring your attention back to this room, remembering absolutely everything and feeling wonderful. And open your eyes in a downward fashion if you wish. physical problem is, and then uh, what the probable spiritual cause, and then the uh, affirmation. Right. If anybody's interested in the physical, I have a couple. I only have maybe two or three, but uh, you want to take can, a look at it. You can go to around. the bookstores or the library. It's called <clears throat> you, you, can you Can Heal Your Body, and it's got a rainbow on the cover. And it's by Louise Hay. Mm -hmm. That's just a copy that I made of photo so, And she's got other things in here. Like that, that's it's extensive. Surgery. It gives a lot to it. Mm -hmm. so, the other thing I wanted to mention in, in, yeah. in your like, affirmations, uh, you want to be careful of saying things in the negative. You don't want to say, well, I, you don't yes. want to say, I am not stupid. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You want to say, I am intelligent. You want to put things in a That's, positive I thank you so much for that. That is so important. Because you know why? That computer doesn't hear the negative. If the mother says to the child, don't spill the milk, all the child can think of is spilling the milk. Yes. <laughs> if you, she says, put the glass over there, put it further back, then the child knows what to do. And so do you. You tell yourself it in, in a way that you know what to do. Thank you for that. I, I did forget that. And it's, uh, it's utterly important. The negative stuff, your mind believes it. That's, that's the hard part. So we really have to be careful with that. So did everybody get some insights and some healing and some way to heal others? Because we always want to, to help others. And remember also what I said, to ask for the healing in their highest good. It, it's not always that it's going to be a complete healing to perfect health. It's, it's going to be a healing in their highest good. And that's all you can ask for. Because if it is, they will accept that and they will be okay with that. that that's, that's the main thing. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Thank you.